All right, hello and welcome. This is Mr. Buss, and I'm going to walk you through Lab Zero Introduction to Data Collection. All right, you're going to need your iPad for this lab. You'll also need a LabQuest device and go ahead and turn it on. Other equipment you'll need will be a temperature probe and a beaker of ice water. Doesn't matter how, how large the beaker is, um, just a regular size. I'm using a 250 milliliter beaker and a second beaker full of warm tap water, as warm as you can get it. All right, and then digital digital um, resources, you'll want to, whoops, sorry, you'll want to go to Schoology. Okay, and go to your earth science course, and under labs and materials, topic one lab worksheets, and you'll do a similar process for all the labs, go ahead and Send Lab Zero Introduction to Data Collection over to Notability. All right. All right, so a few things that uh, are asked in this before we start doing the lab. What network should the lab quest be on? All right, so let me get to that. Before I do, I notice that it's asking me a question. It says, would I like to open a file? And I actually don't because this is just asking me if I'd like to open the file that was last used on here without being saved. So sometimes this will happen. You can go ahead and cancel that. Um, if it's easier to use this, you can use this. All right, so um, the network that the lab quest should be on, if you're gonna click the home button, and then connections, you can click the home button down here as well. So this is the home screen under connections. It should say 192DEV, and that's the correct network. So you can answer that. 192DEV is the network that it should be on. If it's not on that network, the LabQuest will still work, but it won't talk back and forth to your iPad. All right, I'll hit the home button again to get back to the main menu. Next question says, how do you fix the LabQuest screen if it is not responding to touch very well? Easiest way to do that is to just hold the home button down for five seconds. All right, and then you're gonna to get to a screen calibration. All right, and now you're, you should have an easier time navigating the touch screen interface. Third question is how do you turn the LabQuest 2 off? So when you're all done with this experiment, and any experiment you do, don't touch this button. This is the kind of the standby button, so that's not how you turn it off. So to answer the question, to turn the LabQuest off, you're gonna to go to home button, system, and then shut down, and then you'll hit OK. I'm not gonna hit OK now because I'm not gonna shut it down now because I'm gonna do the lab, so I'm gonna cancel. So that's how you answer the third question. What app do you need to view this lab? That's the graphical analysis app. Oh, when should you turn the LabQuest 2 off? Sorry, I skipped that one. You should turn the LabQuest 2 off after every experiment. So. Um, it should be shut down after every hour um, and not left on throughout the day. Um, will your instructor accept the lab write-up if one person completes it and shares it? Nope. So every single person needs to do their own write-up on here um, instead of one person doing the write-up and sharing the, the write-up with everyone in the lab group. So each person does this instead of having one person do it. So I won't accept it if one person does it and shares it with everyone. All right, the learning target, purpose, or objective of part one. The learning target, purpose, or objective is to um, learn how to use the time-based mode of data collection. All right, and so it looks like I'm ready to start doing that. All right, so I'm gonna move this off to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. So now it's time to run the experiment. So I'm gonna take my temperature probe and I connect that to channel one. Okay, so that's getting a temperature. I'm gonna place the temperature probe in the ice water. All right. And on my iPad, I'm going to connect the graphical analysis app to my iPad, or I mean, 
the graphical analysis app on my iPad to the LabQuest device. To do that, I'm going to click Create Experiment, Data Sharing, and these are all the LabQuests that are available, and so Lando Calrissian is available. So I just double check the name of your device, select that device, Okay, and it worked. If it doesn't connect, it probably needs a restart, unfortunately. So if it doesn't connect, you probably need to go to the system and reboot or shut down and then turn it on again. But it did connect, and it should connect. All right, so I'm ready to go. Just to double check that I'm reading the same thing, I'm going to see meter tab 5.6, 5.6. Yep, looks like I'm connected to the right device here. So I'll go back to the graph view. All right, so to collect our data, move this closer so you can see, I'm going to keep it as time-based. However, I want to change the rate and the duration, so I'm going to click on this section. I want the rate to be 0.5 samples per second, which will automatically change the interval to two seconds every sample. All right, and the duration is 60 seconds. So I'll run this for one minute. Okay, so now I'm ready to go. So here's my temperature probe and my cold water. Here's my warm water. Here's my LabQuest device here. All right, so on my LabQuest device, looks like this is nice and cold. Stir it around a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. All right, and in the bottom here, I can see how many seconds have gone by. When this says 10 seconds, I'm going to move it to the warm water. So at 10 seconds, now I take the temperature probe out of the cold water, put it in the warm water, and let it sit there for the remainder of the one minute run. You'll see an obvious spike in temperature on the graph. I'll bring in my iPad. Maybe I'll kind of do this. So you can see that they um, are both collecting the information. And again, I'm just going to let it Keep going until time goes to 60 and it'll automatically stop. All right, so I'm just gonna set the lab quest aside because um, the rest of the work for part one is gonna be done on my iPad. So if you notice in Notability, it's asking for a screenshot number one of iPad connected to LabQuest. Here's what I want that to look like. So here's your graph. I want you to manually toggle the screen until you find the highest temperature and the first time at which that highest temperature was reached. So here it looks like my highest temperature is 32.1 and I'll say 32.1 degrees Celsius and the time at which that was reached is 42 seconds. So I'll write that down and I'm gonna also include this picture screenshot in my write-up. Okay, moving on to the second part, screenshot number two of iPad connected to LabQuest. So I'm going to use the same data here, but instead of viewing it uh, that way, I'm still, my goal is the same. I'm still going to find the time at which the highest temperature was first reached, but I'm going to do that by viewing this as a table. So I can see my time and my temperature, and I can just scroll and I can see, okay, 32.1 degrees at 42 seconds. That's my second screenshot. So my numbers are the same, and they might not be the same for you. They might be slightly different. So there's my second screenshot. I guess that should say screenshot number three, not screenshot at number one. So here, my third one, so method three, going back, I'm going to go back and view this as a uh, graph again. All right, and this time I'm going to select by touching a side of the graph on the left and dragging the screen to the right. I'm going to select my time from 0 to 60. 
The, the screen should be slightly grayed out. I'll tap the screen once. I'll toggle statistics on. And that now tells me the time at which the maximum temperature was first reached again. So max 32.1 at 44 seconds. So similar to what I'd had before, slightly different actually. So I'm gonna put that in there. Add that third screenshot. Okay, so there's my three different screenshots. Manually selecting the highest temperature in the first time, using the table, and then using statistical analysis feature of the graphical analysis app. Okay, we're done with part one. So now this is important to know how do you switch on to part two. I can let you answer these on your own. All right, let me know in class if you have questions on those. So for the screencast, however, I'm gonna move on to part two so um, that you can see how to do that. The learning target, objective, or purpose for part two is to use a different mode of collection. And so I'm gonna show you how to get to that part and then you can write the learning target down. So this is important to know. So on your iPad, everyone should be connected here. It's very important to now exit out of that. You should label that experiment so you know what it was, like lab zero part one for example, label it like that. And I already have a name like that, so I'll just go 0 0.1, sub 0 0.1. All right, and then leave your graphical analysis app like this before you move on to part two so that um, it doesn't like disconnect and stop talking to the LabQuest device. So leave this like this for now. And on here, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna type file New, because we're going to do a new experiment, even though it's the same lab, we're going to do a new experiment in this lab. And I'm just going to go ahead and discard this old data. I don't need to save it on this little computer device here. So I'm going to discard it. All right, if I kept this connected, it would have um, kind of lost the connect. It would have been like, it would have glitched out. All right, so it's very important to make sure you're on this screen before you go file new. All right, and then the purpose of part two is to use the learn how to use the events with entry mode of data collection. So that's the purpose. And then I'm gonna walk you through the setup here. All right, so number of columns should represent the number of people in your group. So if you have three people in the group, write three. If you have two people in the group, if you're by yourself, put two and you can write like yourself because you're gonna be taking a temperature of your hand. You can do like your right hand, left hand or something like that. So put the names of the people in your group, so. All right, and leave the units blank so that it looks like that. So put the names of the people. All right, and then you're ready to go. You're ready to hit play on here. At this point, you can connect this again. All right, so you can connect your iPad back to the LabQuest device. All right, you're gonna go ahead and on here hit play. All right, and then you're gonna take the temperature probe and then someone in the group is gonna hold it in their hand until the temperature stabilizes. So get, take a few minutes so the temperature stabilizes. All right, then I'll, I'm gonna rush through this actually just so I can finish. Once the temperature is stable, I'm gonna hit keep. All right, and the value for the first person is one and then hit okay. Give the temperature probe to the other person or if you're by yourself, put it in your other hand. Do the same thing. Watch the temperature until it stabilizes. And again, I'm gonna rush through this just to finish up. Then you're gonna hit keep. The second person's value is two, because they were the second event. You're now done with this, as one, I am anyway. And so go do the same thing for how many people there are in the group. Then when you're done, you hit stop. You're gonna view this as an XY, so a data table. That's what it looks like on the LabQuest. And on your iPad, you're gonna do the same thing. You get your screenshot. View this as a table. So there are the people that were in the run. I'm gonna do, whoops, missed my screenshot. Try again. Got my screenshot there. Um, you don't have to crop it or anything like that because there it is. Um, you could if you wanted to, but not necessary. 
So screenshot number four of iPad connected to LabQuest. So I'm gonna add that photo that I just took. Great, again, the purpose was to use events with entry mode of data collection. All right, you can input the same information right here. Um, group member name, maximum temperature reached, hottest hand, coldest hand, easy questions. Then you're all done. With the lab, make sure that you just kind of save it in your uh, notability, earth science folder, right? And then um, when you're done with the lab, you are gonna want to have a conversation with your instructor and uh, show them your write-up that you'd done and then they'll check off the lab for you and make sure that you have all the points for it. So you get half the points for doing the lab, the other half are having that uh, discussion. And again, it's important that everyone in the group does this, all right, not one person we're doing the write-up and then sharing it with the rest of the lab group. So that'll be something that the instructors are gonna be looking, just keeping an eye out for. All right, so thanks and good luck with the, less, the rest of the class. One thing I should mention too is that whenever you're done with the lab, just go ahead and put all the equipment away. So this lab is pretty simple. You just need to dump the water down the drain and put the glassware back where you got it from. And don't forget, the very last thing you're gonna do in this LabQuest device is you're gonna to go to the system, shutdown screen. Um, even before you do that, I should say that you could also just go file new and that would kind of discard anything that you add on there and uh, then you can do system shutdown and then you can put that away too and charge that up